Hi everyone. In today's video, we'll talk about PixCap, which is an online editor for designers to create and export 3D designs. It's very easy to use. You only require basic knowledge of 3D to start using PixCap. There are lots of ready-made 3D templates and assets that you can edit on this platform. You can change colors, materials, camera perspective, lights, shadows, character poses, and so on. You also create powerful animations for objects and characters with PixCap's timeline and graph editor. For advanced users, PixCap allows them to set up inverse kinematics for characters. You can also export your designs as images, videos, and a 3D file format. PixCap is an online software, so you don't need to install heavy and large software on your system. You can access PixCap from anywhere in the world, as long as you have a stable internet connection. There are free and pro subscription plans. You can purchase the pro plan to access all pro models and animations. So you can export your designs without the PixCap watermark. Also, if you use the coupon code in the video description, you will get a 20% discount. Now let's create a simple 3D design using PixCap. First of all, go to PixCap website and create an account. Then sign in to your account. Go to My Projects and click on the Create a Project button, so it will take us to the PixCap editor. Rename the project as Fitness. In order to add a new object to the scene, go to Add Menu and add a curved plane. This will be the backdrop of the scene. We can use the red, green, and blue arrows to move the plane on the X, Y, and Z axes. We can also use the Transform panel to move the plane. In order to rotate the plane, switch to Rotate Tool. If you want to rotate the plane on the Y axis, hold down the green line and rotate the plane. Let's rotate the plane negative 90 degrees on the Y axis. We can also scale up the plane by switching to the Scale tool. Scale up the plane on the local Z axis, then scale up on the X axis, and scale up on the Y axis. We can zoom in and out by scrolling the mouse wheel. We can also rotate around the scene by holding down the Alt key and left mouse. We can change the base color from the material panel. Increase the smoothness value. Now let's add 3D models from the PixCap library. Click on the Library tab. Search for Fitness Models. Click on the barbell, so it will be added to the scene. Place the barbell in a proper place in the scene. Now let's add the dumbbells to the scene. In the same way, let's add a treadmill to the scene. Click on the space and deselect everything. In the Environment Settings panel, we can change the background color. We can also use Sky Texture or Image Texture as a background. If we switch the background off, we can get a transparent background render. Let's decrease the environment lighting intensity. Alright, it is very important to have the correct studio lighting for visuality. We're going to use three-point lighting system, commonly used in studio photography. Let's switch to top view. Now, we have only one light source in the scene. Select the directional light source and move the light source to the right side. Rotate the light source at 45 degrees towards the scene. Let's set the Z rotation value to 45 degrees. Set the light intensity value to 4. Duplicate the light source. Place the new light source in the opposite direction. Set the Z rotation value to negative 45 degrees. Set the light intensity value to 2 and turn off the cast shadow. So it will only light the scene, not cast a shadow. Duplicate the light source again. Move the new light source to the right back. Set the X rotation value to 0, the Y rotation value to negative 45, and the Z rotation value to 45 degrees. The light intensity value will be 2 and won't cast a shadow also. We call this three-point light system. As you can see, we can see the details better now. Now let's add the materials. Double-click to select the barbell weights. Go to Material Panel and edit the material. Choose the base color black. Select the bar, go to Material Edit, and choose the base color light gray. Click on the plus icon and add a new metallic material layer. 
set the metallic intensity all the way up to 1 and increase the roughness value a little bit. So the material will become a metallic look. In the same way, let's edit the other materials. All right, let's add animated characters to the scene. Go to the PixCap library, click on the Characters tab and add the young boy character to the scene. Now let's add animation to the character. Click on the Animation tab and search for the Run animation. Click on the animation to select. Choose the skeleton to apply the animation. We have only the young boy skeleton in the scene. Click on the Apply button. Let's click on the Play button. There we go. Let's expand the timeline and graph editors. Disable the Auto Key option for now. We can select any bone in the character and display the animation graph belonging to this bone. Drag the timeline cursor to frame 14. This frame is the end of the run cycle. We need to loop the animation until the last frame. The last frame of the animation is set to frame 100. We can change the end frame of the animation. Go to the animation library and add the run animation again. This time we will choose the add to existing layer option and the start frame will be frame 14. Click on the apply button. Let's repeat the process until the end frame. All right, we have the run cycle now. Select the young boy skeleton and place the character on the treadmill. Now, let's add another character to the scene. Add push-up animation for it. This time choose the programmer skeleton to apply the animation. In the same way, make cyclic the animation. We can also change the FPS value. If we set the FPS to 50, the animation will speed up. If we divide the end frame by the FPS number, it will give us the duration of the animation as a second. Let's set the FPS number to 30. Hide the character bones in the viewport. We can also add text to the scene. Go to Add Menu and add a 3D text. Change the text to fitness. You can change the text font as you wish. You can edit the text as you wish. Now let's animate the text. Move the text up on the Y axis. Drag the timeline cursor to frame 1. Press S key to add a keyframe. If we enable the Auto Key option, the keyframes will be added automatically. Go to frame 5 and move the text down on the Y axis. 
Go to frame 7. Move the text up a little bit. Go to frame 9. Move the text down a little bit. Go to frame 10 and move the text up slightly. Go to frame 11 and move the text down slightly. Let's play the animation. There we go. It's time to add a camera and export the design. Go to Add Menu and add a camera. Move the camera so that you have a nice camera perspective. You can follow the camera perspective at the bottom left. If you want, you can switch to the camera perspective at the upper right. We need to scale up the backdrop a little bit. It's time to export the design. While you are in the camera perspective, go to the export menu. As you can see, we can export the design in FBX format. So we can import the design into other 3D software. We can also export the design in image or video format. Let's export the design in video format. You can set the video resolution as you want and click on the export video button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.